topic today is going to be order of operations and I don't really want you to think about this so much as a topic um, but as something that is going to be involved with everything that we do. This is something that you may or may not have seen before uh, but we're going to do it on this video just so um, you can kind of work out at your own speed here and see how this works. Order of operations is just basically a set of rules that you follow for any problem that you do um, stating what you should do first, second, third, and so on. Throughout this process I will give you a as close to foolproof method as I've figured out anyway in order to solve these problems. What I expect to see while you're doing this is um, notes and examples uh, using the method that I'm using. I think it's the easiest way to do it. First thing we need to write down is the actual order of operations. Now, we're going to start simple. We're going to just start with these three. Okay? We're going to start with parentheses. Anytime you see a set of parentheses, you need to do inside the parentheses what it says. Okay? Second one is multiply or divide from left to right. This one can be confusing to some people because uh, sometimes students think that multiplication comes first and then you take care of division stuff. Not true. If division comes first from left to right, you take care of that first. If multiplication comes first from left to right, you take care of that. And then our third level is our adding and subtracting what's left. Again, this is kind of the same situation as up here. Add does not come before subtract. It just depends which one comes first, like, like when you're reading a book from left to right. It just depends which one you see first. So in this process, there can be a lot of back and forth with these different problems. We're going to do five example problems. And again, what I expect to see in your notes uh, are the actual problems. Uh, and then following along with me as far as how I would like you to solve these. We're going to start real simple here. 8 plus 8 divided by 4. I've put the order of operations up here just as kind of a reminder to you, uh, but those should already be in your notes. A lot of people, and actually I went around and gave this to about, I don't know, three or four people the other day, uh, and their initial thought was always the wrong answer, and that's why we got to get this stuff figured out. A lot of people want to do 8 plus 8 is 16, then divide by 4 and get 4. That's not going to be your answer for this problem. Let's go through the order of operations and I'll show you how this works. Parentheses is first. We don't have any parentheses in here, so we can skip that part. Multiplication division from left to right. So I have to go through and find all the multiplication divisions. I have a division right here. This is what I need to do first. So what I like to do, and I think this works really well, is I like to do 8 divided by 4, put the answer down below it, and then I like to cross out what I just used. I did 8 divided by 4, I'm going to get rid of that, and then I'm going to bring all the rest of my numbers down. Now the nice thing about this is, it doesn't seem like such a big deal in a problem like this, but when we start getting some bigger problems in here, it's nice to get rid of what you've used. And then we're on to step three. Any add subtracts that we have, all we have is an add. We can finish out with an answer of 10 for this problem. All right, your next problem is 8 times 2 plus 4 plus 10 minus 3 times 5. Order of operations. Parentheses. We don't have any. Multiplication division from left to right. So what I like to do is go through and find all the multiplication divisions, which is nice to do. We've got a multiply here. Uh, those are add, add, subtract, multiply here. Okay, So I'm going to take care of those. 8 times 2, 16. I'm going to cross that out because I don't want to use any of those numbers again. 5 times 3, or 3 times 5. Cross that out, put the answer of 15 right below it. Now what I do is, I just bring all the other numbers and symbols straight down. So I've got plus 4, plus 10, minus 15. Okay. Now, we've got all the multiply and divide taken care of. Now we just have the last step, which is add, subtract from left to right. All we have left is add, subtract, 
So we can just go straight across. 16 plus 4 is going to be 20. And again, I'm just going to do this. This really helps out. Bring down everything else. 20 plus 10 is 30. Bring down everything else. And 30 minus 15 is 15. So our answer to the original problem here is 15. All right, this problem looks very similar, but there's one difference. We've got the extra set of parentheses in here. All right, so I'm going to start going down my list. Parentheses first. So I have to take care of anything that has a parenthesis in it. 10 minus 3, 7. Okay, I'm going to cross out that set of parentheses. Now I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to bring everything else straight down the line. Let's see here, times five. Okay. Now we got rid of the parentheses. Now we need to go to number two, which is multiply and divide from left to right. Okay. Uh, when we multiply and divide from left to right, just pick out the symbols that we need here. We've got a multiply here, and we've got a multiply here. Okay. Eight times two, sixteen. Get rid of it. Uh, seven times five, thirty-five. Get rid of it. Bring everything else down, plus four, and another plus sign. Now we're ready to move on to step three, which is add, subtract from left to right. We don't have any subtraction. All we have is addition, so we can just add straight across. So I can just set this up like an addition problem if you want to. So we don't have anything else. We can just add straight down. So we'd have 15, carry the one, three, four, five, 55 would be the final answer to this question. See how the, the last answer was, what, 15? And this one's 55, and the only difference was we had one set of parentheses in the problem. Uh, I had to turn the board sideways here uh, to fit everything on, but by now you should have the order of operations down, and you should have them in your notes should you ever need them. They're also over in the uh, on the pink uh, poster board over by the door so that's something else you could look for. Alright, so we've got our order of operations here. We don't have any parentheses so we can skip that part. Next up we need to go to the multiplication division. As I look through here I have no multi or no division so all I have is from left to right the multiplication problem. So I'm just going to indicate them by circling. I have a multiplication there. I do have a division, that's my mistake. I do have a division right there. So there's the division there's a multiplication. Remember that division or multiplication, neither one comes before the other, it's just from left to right or kind of straight across your paper. So I'm going to start with this one right here. 3 times 3 is 9. And I'm going to cross that off. 3 divided by 3 is 1. I'm going to cross that off. Uh, and then now, interesting, we've got this times 3 here and we just made that 1. Okay, so 1 times 3, and maybe it's best to do this. If you're confused by this kind of going like 1 times 3 like that, maybe we should just start the process of bringing everything down before we do that. I'm going to do that right now. Plus 9, plus 3, plus, there's my 1. Now, since we still have a multiplication, we're still actually on step 2. Multiply, divide from left to right. So I'm going to look through here. Here's my multiply. 3 times 1 is going to be 3. Okay, I'll cross that off. Okay, now we've got our final problem here, and that's a 3 by the way, just in case you can't tell. There we go, it's a little better. We're on the last step. We just need to go from left to right, straight across. Uh, so this is something where you could just kind of add along as you go. If you want to go step by step, you can. I'll leave that up to you. I just know that 3 plus 3 is going to be 6. 6 plus 9 is going to be 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So our final answer to this problem is going to be 24. Here's our last problem. Now we've got a lot of things in here. I got 3 plus, this is what we call a bracket, okay? 
bracket is basically just a parenthesis, just another level of it. So we've got bracket, parenthesis, 3 plus 3 times 3, parenthesis, plus 3 plus 3, your end of your bracket. So you always have two brackets, two sets of parentheses, divided by 3 times 3 plus 3. When you have a big bracket in this problem, Basically, you just treat that like a separate problem first. So I'm just going to do what's inside the bracket first. I'm going to treat that separately. Okay. So let's start with the parentheses in the bracket because parentheses are first. Okay. In the parentheses, we have 3 plus 3 times 3. Think about your order of operations. You want to do the multiplication before you do the addition. So if I do this, 3 times 3 is what we're going to want to do first. That's 9. And then I have, still in parentheses, 3 plus 9 is going to be 12. Okay? That took care of all of the parentheses. Now I need to bring everything else down and finish off the bracket. This is still in the bracket here. Okay? 12 plus 3 plus 3, since we can just go straight across because it's all addition, 12 and 3 is 15, 16, 17, 18. So our bracket ends up being 18 altogether. Okay? We're still following the order of operations in the bracket. Now we need to bring everything else we had straight down. So I have 3 plus, then I have a division 3 times 3 plus 3. Okay? So now order of operations. Let's think about what we have here. Do we have any parentheses? No, we don't. Do we have any division and multiplication? Yes, we do. There's a division. There's a multiply. It's division and multiplication from left to right. So we need to start with this one. Okay, 18 divided by 3 is 6. So I'm going to replace this with a 6 right here. So then if I bring everything else straight down, I'll bring my multiplication down, 3, and then plus 3, okay? Still have a multiplication in there. 6 times 3 is 18. Bring everything else straight down. I'm just bringing that from over there. 3 plus 18 is 21, 22, 23, 24. So our final answer to this problem is 24.